Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 Blueprints tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. When we put together this little site we used our software Blueprints here and you can download that from the URL below this video. We put together this sort of one page little site in about five minutes. It's just a template and now that we've made it we're going to customize it. In the last video we learned how to put the logo up there. In this one let's learn how to change the text and perhaps change the image background of this hero section here. Okay so when we saved our site from bl blueprints we saved the index.html to a folder here, our root folder, and I put in the, the logo that we've used for our site. Now you need a text editor to edit this. I'm going to open mine with brackets. Brackets is a free text editor. You can download it from a link below this video also if you don't have a text editor. But any text editor will do. And this is what our index.html looks like. Now we briefly went over most of this stuff yesterday so I'm not going to cover that again. This first section here, the nav, it's obviously our nav bar, which is this section right here. And the section we want to deal with today is just under that. So there's the closing part of the nav, and here's the opening part of the next section, which is the one we want to work on. And as you can see, there's this white highlighted writing here. This is all the text and to change it all you do is simply select it like any Word document and type in what you want to put in there. Making sure not to cut off any tags either side because that will mess things up. Same with subheadings. And just below that, if I, we look at that, that's actually our buttons. Now I've not saved this so it won't change. In brackets, if you've not saved, you'll have a little dot just beside the file name up there. And that's what we've changed. I haven't saved it so it's not changed. And we're going on to the buttons now. Get started now and watch video. There it is. Let's just change it to something that we want. I'll just say watch now. Now if I save this now, control S or go up to file and hit save, control S, go back to the site and refresh, our writing should have changed there. There we go, my new website, welcome, start today and watch now. Simple as that once you've got your text editor. Now, next thing I guess I want to do is to change out this image here. And again, this is very easy. We'll go back to our text editor and we'll just look at what they've got here. If we look at the section, it's got some inline classes and style, CSS. It says background image and this is where the background image is coming from. It's coming from um, unsplash.com so basically it's pulling that image from the web and it's okay to use URLs it's not a problem at all but if you don't own that site and they move or change that image it's going to move or change it on your site so you'll either have nothing or a different image so I prefer to have things locally and to make that happen all I need to do is download an image and put it in our root folder here like I did with the logo yesterday so I'll do that quickly find a little image and we'll change this one out here we go and I've changed it out I've had one background one which is a JPEG as you can see from the drop down so it's bg1.jpg I'll just change the view so you can see so that's the image I've got for the background, it's bg1.jpg. So 
what I'm going to do is go into where they've got their image URL right here. I'm going to select their image URL from the beginning all the way to the end. So all we're left with is two round brackets. Delete that. See, we're left with two round brackets right there. In between there, I'm just going to put my background image name which was BG1 and it was a JPEG should find it when I start typing there it is BG1.jpg so I just click on that put it in there now I'll save that again control s back to the site refresh and our new image should be in there now there we have it so we've made that section our own as well now to me that's pretty legible but we could make it stand out further by putting a little sort of dark opaque background behind it there. So let's do that and that's pretty easy too. If we remember where this is, my new website, we'll go back to our brackets. Okay, so here's the section we're working on. There's a container that it's in, it's fluid, which means it goes all the way across the available space. There's a row, which again, that'll be stretching out and there's a div just below that and this div actually contains our writing and our buttons which is everything I want that's that little down arrow at the bottom there so I'm going to add a bit of style to the end of this div and give it a slightly dark background to make that text stand out a little bit more so I'm giving a bit of space between that inverted commas and I'm going to write style. We're using inline style today like they've been using in the rest of this. We'll keep doing that. I prefer to have an external but this is fine. So it's style equals and then open and close a set of inverted commas. And inside there we want to write what style we want. So I want background for this particular div. Background. Colon. And because I want it to be a sort of see-through black, I want it to have some opacity, I'm going to use RGBA rather than hex. So RGBA, open and close some round brackets. And we'll put in black, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, red, green, or blue. And then I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say 0 0.5. And that will make it 50% opaque or so 50% opacity I'll just put a little semicolon just after the bracket there just in case I want to add some more CSS in a moment and we'll save this control s back to the site refresh and when I refresh there should be a semi opaque dark layer there there it is and that makes that text stand out nicely and you can still see the hand and the image behind almost looks like he's holding it up with his hand there so that's a nice little touch so we'll leave it there for today we'll move on tomorrow and we'll do buttons I haven't done links today because we've got nowhere to link to at the moment but we will do that and what I'm going to do is turn this site into something like I've got here which has got a sort of scrolling sections and we put all the images in and your own videos team sections pricing and bottom you've got the contact form at the bottom there so we'll be doing that over the next few videos there's a little smooth scroll that's working on it too so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.